Man adaba ibnahu sagheeran, the one who teaches his child values, etiquettes and mannerism when he's young, this child will surely grow up to be a source of happiness, joy and bliss for the parents in the latter part of their lives. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Subhanallah, let's take a look at the level of respect found amongst the noble companions. May Allah be pleased with them. The hadith appears in Sahih Bukhari. Salma ibn Akwa radiyallahu anhu narrates it. He says the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam passes by a group of Banu Aslam while they are practicing archery. The Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam joins along. Joins along. And he says, Irmu bani Ismail fa inna abakum kana ramiya. Practice archery. Indeed, uh, your ancestor, your forefather, Ismail alayhi salam, was a great archer. وَأَنَا مَعَ بَنِي فُلَانِ And there were two groups amongst them. I am joining with this group. فَأَمْسَكَ أَحَدُ الْفَرِيقَيْنِ بِأَيْدِيهِمْ So the one group, when they heard this, they just dropped their bows and their arrows. And they were just standing motionless. So the Prophet said, وَمَا لَكُمْ لَا تَرْمُونَ And why won't you release your arrow? They said, كَيْفَ نَرْمِي وَأَنْتَ مَعَهُمْ O Prophet of Allah, how can we release our arrow from this side when you are on that side? Just out of respect, we won't have the courage to release. Subhanallah. This is a casual, relaxed atmosphere where they are practicing archery. No sooner did they observe the presence of the Prophet ﷺ, they found it disrespectful to release that arrow. The hadith is in Sahih Muslim. The Messenger ﷺ said, There is a particular tree that resembles the believer. Hadithuni mahiya. Tell me what is the name of this tree. فَوَقَعَ النَّاسُ فِي شَجَرِ الْبَوَادِي People started thinking perhaps this tree, perhaps that tree, the most complex answer. Uh, and then nobody had the answer. And the Prophet ﷺ said, Inna It is your date palm. Anyway, the gathering ended. Everyone went home. And then Abdullah bin Umar said to his father, Umar radiallahu anhu, Oh my dad, when the Prophet ﷺ had asked the question, Wallahi, I knew the answer. So Umar radiallahu anhu said, if you had replied at that moment, it would have been a, a great sense of joy and happiness for me. Why didn't you reply? He said, Ra'aytu Abu Bakrin wa Umar la yatahaddathan. Oh my dad, I observed you were silent and Abu Bakr was silent. So I could not master the courage to speak when the giants were silent.